Now, there are marathons in many cities across the world, London, Boston, Athens, and then there's one in North Korea. All roads led to Pyongyang with a few hundred tourists competing with the locals. Well, who won and who was left behind? The BBC's Rahul Jokleka has more. It's a regime that keeps everyone on its toes. Welcome to the fifth annual marathon in North Korea that got off to a running start. More than 400 runners from across 43 countries took part. Under the watchful eye of the country's founder and his son, some runners were happy to be photographed as they ran through the streets of the capital city. At its peak, 5,000 Western tourists used to travel to North Korea for the race, but America has imposed a travel ban last year. The ongoing backdrop of nuclear tensions between North Korea and the US may have also kept some runners away. The race welcomed disabled competitors for the first time. All the races were won by locals. For a government that's in the headlines usually for its dramatic missile tests and bizarre funerals, this image of athletes running calmly on the streets of Pyongyang are relatively normal for the regime. Almost too normal, some would say. Rahul Joglikar, BBC News. Well, they certainly looked like they were having fun.